hey you what is going on guys it's boom beach strategy here again welcome back to another episode of boom beach gameplay today is 19 january 2017 thursday and it is one of my favorite events in boom beach that is gear art war factory so let's go to the base of colonel lady and plan it how we can do this this is not a new base for us but till now we have not done solo on this base yet if you will search on youtube you may find many videos but nobody has shown solo today either they have done using gb attack and then groups or they have finished this in two to three attempts i am sure till now nobody has done solo on today's base and uploaded on youtube so hopefully it will be the first video you are going to be eyewitness for today's event as i am talking about solo finish hope you guys already got the point that i am going to finish this gear hut in one attempt so let's see how I can do this. By the way, let me tell you that I have 5 troop damage idols, 31% of MP and 4 guardians of 13%. But I have less GB idols. That's why my total GB count is 100. But as the matter here is to finish in one attempt, I require a little bit more than board energy to execute my plan properly. So I have deployed a landing craft here to collect some extra GB to make it fun fun. By the way, I will not try to save them because they are sacrificing themselves to make this attack successful solo. I often do this trick and it became my habit to find out the opportunity from where I can collect some extra GP and keep in my hand. Without this trick, it is not possible to take down many bases solo and even without boosting. So it is very useful trick. It's enough, I have got 121 point of GB in hand to execute my plan. Need not to say that I must be more cautious to land Joker as the hot pot is there on the sword. I normally use 2 smokes to land 8 LCs, but I will use another one very near to sword to make a safe start. A small gap can burn all my Jukas out in a fraction of seconds. All Jukas are now safe, though I made a little mess up as I was trying to save energy. And now, they are at the right place where I wanted to make them stand under the blind spot of the left rocket launcher. Now I can easily take out the right rocket launcher. Using player on that and critters to distract that. Critters are always helpful as they are like extra troops for us. They can distract defenses and protect our main group. You can see those rocket launchers and cannons became busy to kill those critters and my jukas are taking out main defenses near to headquarters. They have almost cleared the main threats near the HQ. Now I can use my remaining GB on those rocket launchers to make them silence for few more seconds. Because the HQ had a health of more than 2.2 million, so I must try to make most of the Chukas alive for maximum time. There is a sweet spot exactly at 9 of the HQ where nothing can reach to harm them, but in that sweet spot very few will remain alive. So it was necessary to make most of the Chukas alive for more time to take down such huge health of the HQ. It is almost done, maximum health has gone and only a few Jukas are there alive on the, on the sweet spot. Now need to spare some time only, nothing we need to do or we have to do. Time has come, let's begin the countdown. 3, 2, 1 and boom. So it was all about for today's story. Hope you guys have enjoyed the show. 
If not, feel free to hit any button below. Don't forget to hit share button if you find this video useful for you or for your friends. By the way, please do subscribe if you have not done yet because this channel always bring some crazy and interesting videos for you. Soon I will be bringing another interesting video from our task force. Till then keep booming, have fun and stay well. Get that base! Boom Beach, come with a plan or leave in defeat.